Let's move on now. Andhra Corps have procured top Maoist leader Butsar Sendi before the media for the first time after he surrendered yesterday. In fact, Sendi was the spokesperson for the Andhra Special Zonal Committee, one of the most important committees of CPI Maoists. He was presented before the media today. It is only to encourage them to uh, surrender or to join the mainstream of the, this thing. Uh, because uh, once they are in the UG activity, it's a tough life for them. For whatever reason they go, it's a very tough life for them. Many times uh, they suffer ill health and a uh, lot of hardship they face. Number one, they will be away from the family. So then uh, the state missionary keeps pursuing them if they are involved in violent cases. So it's a, a very tough life for them. So, and only uh, people with uh, some, kind, some kind of commitment or whatever reason, they go there. But once, like this case, once uh, he's frustrated with their ideology and and he has some health problem, so they surrender. Editor South T.S. Sudhir is now joining us with more details. Sudhir, have the security force, forces learned anything significant from Usendi after his surrender? Well, at the moment, I have been speaking to the Inspector General in charge of the Special Branch. They said that the interrogation is still to start. But yes, definitely a big catch for the Andhra Pradesh Police, even though there are no cases on Butsa Sendi in Andhra Pradesh. He was carrying a reward of 20 lakh rupees, which will now be given to him as part of the government's surrender policy. But yes, they do believe that uh, his uh, surrender would be a big blow to the Maoists operating in the South Chhattisgarh area, because not only he was the official spokesperson, but he was also the Dandakarana Special Zone Committee um, main person, I, as far as it lies in with the media and the outside world was concerned. And ideologically, he was considered a tactical mind. So in that sense, a huge catch for the Andhra Pradesh police as well as Chhattisgarh. At the moment, there are no cases against him in Andhra Pradesh, but he could be taken to Chhattisgarh and Urissa, where there could be cases against Gutsar Usendi, uh, which would be tried in court. Uh -huh. Sudhir, many thanks for joining us with those details.